Oh, hello. So I decided to get foray into the microgreens and sprouting. Um, if you are unfamiliar with microgreens and sprouting, microgreens is basically growing plants that are real tiny and then cutting them off and eating them. As simple as that. Either from seeds or from beans or peas. Uh, and so from seeds is the microgreens and sprouting is from the peas and the beans. And so I was looking into it and I noticed that the cost of the seeds or the beans was a little high and then there's all sorts of things to buy in order to grow your your microgreens or your sprouts and I was like that's, that's a little ridiculous so I decided well what's the easiest way cheapest way to get into it and the basics of it is you wet the seeds beans or peas whatever you wet them you let them sit out and keep from the sun you wash them off a couple times and each day and then after a few days you start getting sprouts they start growing and then they grow to a certain height and that's it so the cheapest and easiest way to do this is simply sprouting them in a jar and and I read this on another website and and all you had to do is get a jar and like I said this is a Welch's jelly jar so I ate the jelly I only ate the jelly so we're already gonna buy the jelly took a lid and in the lid punched holes with a nail, a hanging nail, small hanging nail, which would be smaller than the, the seeds that I was going to put in. And I punched the holes going outwards. So, in thoughts that when you, the reason you want holes is to air out and to drain and stuff. So my thought was, if I don't have the holes punched inwards, then the little metal spiky parts when you punch a hole in won't catch on any seeds. It'll just be on the outside. But um, what I ended up doing actually is just putting my hand over the over the top to drain out the water, and then so this was left for air. So you're gonna have this pretty easy instead of buying a seed sprout starting tray or, or device or something. Um, the next thing was the cost of the seeds. I um, now, granted, you can't get all the seeds at the grocery store, but you know maybe you can, depending on your grocery store. And I just went and got some lentils because some people have done done this, and this is one pound of lentils, and I believe it was something like three forty-five at the food line, the local discount food place. And for the first, I see that there's a non-lentil bean in here. So the first experiment on this, all I used was a quarter cup. And obviously I have plenty left. Now, you, like I said, you can get your seeds, or your beans, for microgreens or sprouting online. And there's plenty of sources uh, for, to do that. And you know the prices will vary. And one of the biggest things that people you know is like, well, you don't want to buy from the store because they're not organic. You don't know if they're organic or stuff like that. Well, so that's that's going to be a cost of price. To make sure that they're organic. Organic always increases the price of stuff. But this was 3.45 compared to buying a quarter pound for. $12 or more and, and the varieties are manga beans and also radishes and stuff like that and, and one almond I, almonds are expensive as are as they are I just can't imagine sprouting an almond seed just the the green part I, I don't know it's a tree but to each is up 
So that was the basics of what I bought. And then one more one thing, one more thing I bought was a tray. But this is actually a uh, Stromboli tray. I at the food line they sell uh, freshly or you know whatever made Strombolis to be refrigerated. And I bought a Stromboli, ate it. This was like five dollar Stromboli. Kept the tray. And then I put little cuts, not you know, spaced out around three sides, just for airing out. And as you can see, I do have sprouts for my lentils. And this is six days worth of growth. Now, from what I can tell, is that microgreens seeds grow quicker and like they're like a three four day turnaround um, than sprouting sprouts take you know longer obviously these probably have like one more day or two before um, I'll try eating them and microgreens it looks like they grow a lot thicker because you can, you can get them close together and I've seen people put their, no, I just put this directly in here and I put a little water in there and I've emptied the water out and, and just put a little extra water back in. So that's kind of like my rinsing thing here. So like you just empty water out in the sink and then just spray some more on top and then you're kind of rinsing them, rinsing them out, but keeping them moist and, but not too moist so they don't mold. That's it. And I put them in the windowsill in, in my kitchen. And that's not even direct sunlight because we have a, a patio a porch over that. And, and that was it. But basically, so here's the, the, the steps. It's just simple. It's like, get your cup, get your jar, put a quarter cup of uh, beans in or seeds in or whatever you want to put as lentils. Put enough water so it's over so you can rinse them around and get them nice and soaked dump that water out i'm sorry you, you keep that water in there for overnight dump the water out the next morning rinse them off put them to drip dry or air out doesn't have to be straight down but whatever just so they have air coming coming through and then twice a day you do it again you rinse dump it out, let them air, and you'll start seeing them going. And I think it was like the third day I moved them over to the tray. Now when I put them in the tray, they're pretty thick in here. So I will probably, when I do this again, I'll probably use just a little less than a quarter of a cup because my tray here is, is pretty full and they're all tangled up in here, but there's some on top of each other. So a quarter cup was probably too much. So I'll probably need less than that. Maybe a half of a quarter cup or three quarters of a quarter cup. And once they're in the tray, just sprinkle a little water on the top to keep them moist. Come back the next day, because that's all I've been doing. And then dump out the water, put some more, a little more water in. And that's it. If you can look real carefully, there's little leaves up here on the top. So I'm guessing when these stick all the way up, and some of them are almost there. That's when I'm going to see, uh, I guess, harvest them. Now, the biggest thing with, uh, I guess, with microreads in general is the idea is here. You still have to, you have to have these seeds and continue to put them. Um, through the cycle so if you did this like as a long-term option to, to get some small nutrients in your taste for your salads or whatever like that there's got to be a point where you actually grow these out to full-size plant and then harvest the seed or as lentils the beans from that plant so you can store enough in order to 
repeat the cycle. Um, and that's that's really, I guess, the catch is whether or not you have a place to grow out and stuff so you, that, that you're, you're not, your source for your microgreens is in the seed soil. For my tomatoes and my strawberries and, and everything that I try to plant in my garden, I try to think about, well, can I harvest something from that plant so I don't have to buy another pack of seeds next year. Tomatoes and cantaloupe and uh, those things, easy. I just take the seeds, you know, and just store them off to the side and then I can use them the next year. Um, so with microgreens though, you're obviously, when you have a four day to an eight day cycle on um, planting and then harvesting, you're gonna go through a lot of seeds. And so you're going to have to have some sort of source that you've grown through the year to provide enough seeds to make it through whatever you're going to use. So I wouldn't consider this a good, this is a, a treat, I guess, not if you have extra, if you had extra too many, too many beans or too many seeds on something and you just wanted to get rid of it, you knew you had extra supply, like, you know, maybe like radishes, you had them sent to bolt or stuff like that. And, just had tons of seeds. Uh, sunflowers, I've seen some uh, people use sunflower seeds for this too. Another great one because, you know, you, if you do good with your sunflower seeds, you'll, since sunflowers, you'll have tons of seeds for this. But this is my first attempt at microgreen sprouting. And uh, we'll see probably tomorrow or the next day. And I think they'll be, they'll be good. Uh, we'll harvest them and I'll see if the kids like them or not because I have plenty of lentil seeds. And I'm not sure if I'm really big on lentil soup. Just that lentil seeds were the cheap ones to buy for this experiment. So, go ahead and try it yourself for the cheapest way to do it is just to buy some cheap seed, excuse me, cheese and buy some cheap seeds and, and materials that you already will use and grow your sprouts. Thank you.